Closed Tuesday. It is. And so we're, we're messing around with some collectibles. Or In, in this uh, particular yeah. case, it's, it's sort of a collectible just because they're so darn hard to get. Yes. So I've been looking absolutely everywhere for the Bachman Spectrum Long Caboose. My home away from home. Isn't that? Well, we all know how much you love oh, I, crummies. I've, yeah. I've loved cabies. Cabies. I've loved them since I was a little girl. Well, they're just neat. Yeah. It, they're just neat. And the Rio Grande Long Caboose is just legend. And oddly enough, the, the Spectrum, the Bach, Bachman Spectrum uh, DNRG Long Caboose, uh, and they were out, and everybody wanted one, and now you just can't find them. Oh, really? And I've been yeah. bugging um, Al Collins in, in uh, Las Vegas. Can't I get one? I He can't get them. No one can get them. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I was up in the attic looking for stuff that we could use on the show, and I'm looking, and there's this box. And it's like, what's, what's in what's this box? What's in the box? And um, guess what? I, uh, we have one. I don't know when we got it, or or how, or what, when, where, why. I'm sort of thinking when they came out. I grabbed one at Gold Coast Station because back then Hans at, at Gold Coast, I would anything that came in, I just bought. Yeah, uh, that's probably where it came from. And so, that, I, and I just I completely forgot that I had one. But this is one of the neatest. Uh, a cars done in large scale that's that's ever been done it's plastic i mean yeah there's some really nice brass versions um you'll pay brass prices practically for this one it has Imagine. the best interior details i'm peeking in the windows and i'm just getting oh, oh my it's, goodness it's accurate right down to the handles on the handles fringus fam <laughs> well I mean, and even the little nuts and bolts that's holding on the grab rails and there and the ladders i mean what and the, the ACM uh, short caboose, which is really nice, but man, you compare this to that and there's no comparison. The marker lights on this actually look like marker lights. And the they, lenses look like lenses. They look like they're lit up even though they're not. And they look like they're... And the weird thing is, to turn them on, there's, there's, there's switches on the bottom. Oh, really? And um, it says you can either run it on DCC and I don't think it has a DCC unit in it. I think it just, uh, you can put one in it. And I don't know exactly how. I've got to do a little research on that. Or you can run it on batteries. And so the switch says lights off, which is the mode it's in right now. Lights on from battery, lights on from DCC. Do you want the desk lights on? Do you want the marker lights on? Do you want both sets of lights on? So it's got all these elaborate electronics and, or electrics, not electronics, because I don't think the DCC is a functional thing. I think that's a, but they make the little DCC light modules for passenger cars. Yes. Yeah. Some years ago, I thought I would run all my passenger cars and cabezas and everything from nine volt batteries. It has a little lantern in there. That's the desk light. There's two of them. And they, they light up. Yeah. Oh my. Isn't that perfect? And the cushions even are tufted? Yeah. We can use this as a guide for how to do yours. Y yeah. we, we digress ever so slightly, but Al, our good friend uh, Al, before he passed away, built a caboose for Just Karen. Just for me. <laughs> and then he handed it off to her and said, here, I've done this part. You've got to do the finish. because it's, it's uh, And it needs cushions and a few things. Mm -hmm. um, this gives me ideas. But um, it's a it's an almost complete car. It's the Rio Grande Southern version of this same caboose. Mm. So Rio Grande and Rio Grande Southern ran essentially the same caboose. Text message. That wasn't the caboose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could, you could put that horn in there and part of the sound system. Um, but uh, the only difference being the windows here. The Rio Grande Southern had a single window, and we were just over at Adam Pinales's. And he has one. And he has one. It's a little one, but it's the same one. It's the same one. Yeah, it's yeah. the RGS yeah, version there it is. of this. And then, like I say, the same caboose. The, it's so hard to tell the difference between the RGS and the Rio Grande. They ran the same equipment, and they had some of the same management, and it's all complicated, and some rail historian could explain it to us. Um, you can write in the comments if you know mm -hmm. that. But... but 
their version, the only difference being between their version of this is for whatever reason, theirs had a single window here instead of the, the mm, two, windows. two windows. And then, of course, they said Real Grand Southern right. instead of uh, instead of Real Grand Western, Denver and Real Grand Western. But uh, wow. And, and the crazy thing is I've been looking every for one. I've been I've been begging. I've been shopping eBay. They, I'll bid them out till you know they hit 120 bucks, and then I'll, ah, it's getting a little rich for my blood. And then another one just doesn't even come up. Well, and um, here we are. And I'd pay 120 for one, oh, and, yeah. and then I stumble on literally stumble on it, uh, rooting through the attic looking for something mm. to show on the show. Still unpacking <laughs> after all these years. <laughs> Oh, good uh, grief. That's a pathetic collector when you're desperately you're, trying you're to find sure something you and you're calling people and you're on eBay and you're doing web searches and you got one I've stashed got one. in the attic. <laughs> but you can have two. Oh, we need more. Yeah. We got a whole caboose track over in the in the Rio Grande, in the Colorado switching yard. And we now have two cabooses. But this is the way collecting is. Like our friend Adam said, he needs help. So do we. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a... <laughs> It's an addiction. It's an addiction. It's fun. We have three cabezas now. Yeah. We have your Rio Grande Southern, which mm -hmm. we will finish. Yes, we will. We ha it's the same caboose. Runs nice. I put some wheel trucks on it just to push it around and stuff. But mm -hmm. it just needs it just needs finishing. Mm -hmm. And then this one, and it needs paint. As you can see, this is the unlettered version. You get what you can get. Oh, I like the color. And then we have the AMS uh, short caboose, which is a pretty fine model as well, even mm -hmm. though the marker lights are a disaster. Uh, and it will get new marker lights at some point. And I do know what it's like to sit in those seats up in the cupola. Yes, been we, there. Have, we have ridden up there in many a one of these because mm -hmm. there are plenty of these still around. There are. Yeah, on, yes. on both Cumbers Toltec, Durango Silverton, uh, the Colorado Railroad Museum, mm -hmm. and the Odd Person's Backyard. They're All right. Just, they're just around. They're and just, I would actually yeah. have one. I mean, you talk about your she shed. Yeah. If I could she have, has said, yeah. I, if I, I actually would like to get a tough shed built like a caboose and just have it for my little private. It would be easily done. I know. It would be easily done. I'm not quite sure where we'd put it, but it would be easily uh, done. That's the only yeah. that's something holding yeah. me back. But, yeah. you know, like I say, I, I, I'd, I'd like to have a little caboose as a cabin yeah. getaway. Oh, did we mention fully working couplers? One of the weird things about Bachman couplers, they work better than AMS couplers, but they don't release from the little hand grabs. Right. You just kind of have to use a... You know, this has the hand grabs, like on an AMS, but unlike the, on the AMS... Uh, you don't break the car trying to work them. Uh, they, uh, the AMS, they, they're really nice and they're delicate and they're wonderful and it's neat that you can use them, but ooh, good grief, they're, they're fidgety they're, mm. and they're fragile. And where these, you just grab a hold of it, give a yank, and they open and close. It's, it's, it's great. Um, so I'm rather thrilled. It's sort of like, do you ever have that dream where you find a room in your house that you didn't know was there? This is sort of that same thing. For me, it is. I mean, yeah, there it, it is. Real, that'd be find the a model in the <laughs> attic that you didn't know you had. <laughs> well, anyway, very, very cool. If, um, <laughs> if you uh, haven't been over to the channel, do pop over to the channel and uh, do watch the whole playlist on large scale stuff. I've got a playlist up just on the large scale stuff from the Tuesday shows along right. with all the other Tuesday shows. <laughs> um, and if uh, while you're over there, if you're not a subscriber, do subscribe. Uh, or you can simply click the upcoming blue button. Are we ready for that? It's over here, right? <laughs> <laughs> that blue button right there. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet, and we hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday because we're still working on the railroad. Oh, yeah. We'll see you <laughs> see then. Bye-bye. <laughs>